Hi friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for Spiegel Mom Scraps and I'll be using the Into the Woods sequin packet. Um, remember if you use the code LORIMOR15 you can get 15% off your Spiegel Mom Scraps um, order. So I'm going to be documenting this picture of my family and I last year at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And I've already chosen a couple of patterned paper um, to use, and I've chosen my cardstock. So I have a 2 2 pink cardstock as my base, and then that polka dot teal paper, I've trimmed it down to measure um, 10 by 10. And I'm going to use this punch. I think it's from We Are Memory Keepers. It's the first time I ever used this punch so a I have a bit of a struggle with it but it's more user error than anything else um, what I love about this punch is that you can um, punch anywhere on the page and the idea behind this um, behind this layout is to create sort of like shaker pockets within some of my paper layers um, and then also sprinkle sprinkle some sequins around the page um, so right now you can see I'm kind of struggling um, but it, basically what I do is just make sure that I make the mark and then just finish trimming it down with my scissors um, it doesn't really bother me that it's a bit choppy because I use my distress tool to really get a bit of like that distressy look both on the outer edge of this patterned paper and in the little boxes of my what will be my shaker pockets. So I got challenged to use the Into the Woods sequin packet. It's a gorgeous, stunning packet of brown sequins. Now you get three, um, three different types of brown sequins. Um, but it's a challenge for me because if you've seen my videos before, you know that I'm all about big, bold colors. I don't typically make layouts with neutral colors, but I was like, wait, I can make, I can make it work. And already the picture popped into my mind, um, a bit of a break from my rambling here to catch you up on what I'm doing. So I've covered the little um, openings on my patterned paper with some acetate. Then I marked on my card stock where the little um, openings were gonna be because that's where I'm gonna be placing my sequins. Now I go ahead and cover everything up with some craft foam. Um, I just leave obviously the little openings open I don't want to sound redundant, but how else am I going to say it? <laughs> um, I cover the openings up. Um, not cover the openings up. I just said that I didn't. <laughs> Anywho, so I just cover um, everything else, basically everything that's patterned paper with craft foam. I try not to leave any openings around like where the sequins could get out um, and then I just grab the packet of sequins and place it well pour a little bit of the sequins where I made my mark which is where the little um, openings are going to be so yeah so I was challenged to use this and I love how it turned out immensely I love it I love it I love that combination of the brown with the teal and pink um, and basically I just got inspired by using the my gosh I am at a loss for words today um, yeah basically um, just use the colors from within the picture to inspire the overall color scheme of the layout. Now, I am not me if I haven't added a bit of mixed media to my layouts. So I watered down some white acrylic paint and then just started splattering it 
over like next to the edge of you know the pink edge um, where the patterned paper and the cardstock meet and also on my patterned paper I also grabbed um, this is gold digger if I'm not mistaken it's a shimmers um, golden color and I'm splattering it around the edge just to get a bit of a little something something around the the corner not the corner the borders of the patterned paper my gosh I it yeah today has not been my day <laughs> I am really at a loss for words and quite honestly it's because I have two like two languages just fighting with each other in my brain today but you know that happens from time to time so I took a break and then because I had to wait for it to dry and then came back um, sat down and started to pull out um, embellishments just really random embellishments that went with the overall color scheme of the layout and as I'm pulling them out I'm already dividing them into like their own little embellishment clusters I don't go all out crazy with the embellishments because I really want to showcase the shaker pockets and I also want to leave some room for um, you know to add more sequins so let's see what am I gonna do oh yeah um, I really start to commit I pull out the embellishments that I'm gonna be using I've set them into their own um, like embellishment cluster and then just really go to town and start sticking things down I pop some of the embellishments on some craft foam others I layer beneath the others and so on and so forth um, before I add like that little radio thing I write a bit of just basically the date and where we were um, in that little ephemera piece and then I move on to the other embellishment cluster and that's one thing that I've been doing quite a lot lately is that I focus on one embellishment cluster make sure that everything's glued down everything's where it's supposed to be and then move on to the other embellishment cluster um, that way I don't have to tear off some things that might um, that might not make the cut or I need to make a space for some other embellishment you know you probably know what I mean so I'm almost done with my second embellishment cluster and move on to my third I made sure that each embellishment cluster had a word of its own um, and then yeah I'm moving on to the third <laughs> cluster I have a little buddy who decided to join me while making my voiceover. So basically, um, as you can see, I'm almost done with um, the layout. I decided to bring out a couple of stars to layer in. I also popped out some, popped in some butterflies, just to finish um, making each of the clusters. And make sure that everything's glued down and oh yeah the butterflies wings have been popped up on some craft foam um, but I just glue the center in like straight onto it so that the wings tips are popping up <laughs> popping out of like popping up from the page and then I was like, I need more sequins because you can never have too many sequins. And each cluster got three clusters of three on, like, yeah, each cluster ha got three clusters of three. Um, that's an extra way to make 
your layout look messy and have lots of intricate details. And let's see. I'm almost done. I promise I'm almost done. I thought about, you know, adding some shimmers, but I don't. So here are the close-ups. I love how this turned out. I really hope I've inspired you to use sequence like this, not only to incorporate, like sprinkle them around the page, but also to make your own shaker pockets. Be sure to check out the Into the Woods sequin packets because they are awesome. They are for sure very versatile to use. And if anything, guys, I'll see you back soon with another process video.